Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with our friend Jess. And we, uh, we did a makeover today. We cut off lots of hair, so we're gonna walk you guys through the haircut. We also gave her a little bit of hair color, but really just a nice medium brown, nothing complicated there. Then Christina went in, did some makeup, and we have our end result. Really the end result we were looking for, Jess has a lot of hair, so we wanted to remove a lot of bulk. Um, her hair was about down to here, which you'll see at the beginning of the video. Uh, we went in with our razor, our Donald Scott chopstick, cut into it, created a lot of really fun layering and texture, and it really just created this nice modern feel to a, a medium length textured haircut. So hope you guys enjoy watching this step by step, and here we go, let's get the video started. Thanks. All right guys, so these are the products that we used. Uh, we used our YS Park clips, our Donald Scott carving comb, Mizutani scissors, and all of our favorite products from uh, Bricado. But this is Jess's before picture, and now we're gonna get the video started. So real standard sectioning. Again, I don't like to get too complicated with the sections, uh, but we're gonna start with a vertical section in the back. You can see I took slight diagonal forward uh, sectioning or partings uh, just up at the occipital bone, uh, pretty much riding the occipital bone in the back. Uh, I like to go right there because that's that first curve of the head. And we're gonna go in with our Donald Scott uh, Chopstick Pro and just work through it. I, I love this tool because it glides through the hair really easy. Uh, we also sprayed in the Prepare uh, Liquid Tool Glide as well. It helps the razor really glide in the hair. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, just the chopstick we're going through at pretty much directly out from the head. So I want you to focus on the fact that the we're not trying to build up a lot of weight right now. I wanna collapse the bottom. Uh, around that occipital bone area. And you'll see my hand, my fingers are sliding out cause I'm leaving a little extra fringy looking length or uh, shattered length at the bottom. So that's what I love about the razor guys. Cause you know, I like to go in and create some precision haircuts if you've seen my haircuts in the past, but there's a, there's a real freedom to a razor uh, that sometimes I just, there's haircuts that need that look. And uh, Jess has, Thicker hair, so the razor tool works really well for her. Uh, biggest shift here now is uh, my fingers are pointed down. Same slide out motion. Uh, and you see the strokes that I'm taking with the razor are really wide. Uh, the wider the stroke, the more broken the line. I'm not creating structure in this haircut whatsoever. Um, the only thing I'm doing structure wise is I'm keeping consistent with the, the over direction that I'm pulling on the hair. So I'm pulling the hair straight out from the head and then sliding my fingers as I cut. And you can see that a uh, little bit of extra length at the bottom, right around the nape of the neck where uh, it's gonna be a little more shattered looking. That's what I love about the razor. And she gave me a haircut picture that was very similar to that. So uh, that's what we're creating now. Over direction straight back. So we're pushing that weight to the front. Um, and that's really just pushing that extra weight right behind the ear. And now I'm gonna let down that top panel and work just down to the ear. So basically from the corner of that rectangle that's on top of her head down to directly behind the ear. You could base this on density and head shape, but that seems to be a pretty standard uh, parting for this haircut. So now I'm, I'm looking at uh, the weight and the density right behind the ear to see how much I wanna cut in there and then all the hair is coming directly back. This is the great thing about that GoPro angle uh, and wearing that on the head. Sometimes it's a little shaky, but you really get to see the angles of the haircut. So everything, uh, vertical parting straight down, working around the head, everything's coming straight out. So we went from almost cutting like a triangular shape to working that round of the head towards the back. And then uh, once we get to the corner, then uh, you'll see we take it a little bit differently. So um, we're gonna grab that corner of the head, still coming straight out, uh, not any over direction whatsoever, straight out from the head. The strokes are getting wider with the razor. And the great thing about that guys is you can see how much of a shattered look you get, uh, especially with Jess's really thick hair. So again, straight out from the head. So we went from cutting more of a triangular shape by over directing everything back and pushing the weight forward to now uh, creating more of a rounded shape because we're following the round of the head um, as we over direct it or as we pull the hair out. Same thing on this side. Again, look at the density, look at the head shape, 
but for now it works really well to just go right down to the ear and make that kind of rotation around the head with your partings. So keeping everything nice and clean, putting that clip up in there, all up in there. Uh, here we go. All right. Now you'll notice I'm not tilting your head down too much because that would that would mess up my angle. So really head the head angle is all for your comfort. So keeping that wider stroke with the razor, over directing it straight out from the head and uh, keeping that shadow look going. So we're gonna continue around the head just like we did in the previous uh, panel and just over directing everything straight out. Now I like to take smaller sections, no matter what I'm doing, even though I'm going for a shattered look in this haircut, I don't wanna take big thick sections because as soon as you do that, you're bundling all of the hair together. And if you bundle all the hair together around a corner, you're shoving weight uh, away from it. So basically you're creating weight in places that you didn't want, and then you're gonna end up with a longer piece uh, or a longer side. Uh, that you weren't going for. So just make sure you take those small sections. You shouldn't be taking a section that's wrapping around uh, a round part of the head. So you can see how that lays. It lays really nice. I love this haircut. It's got a shag kind of feel to it, uh, but a nice medium length. Now I'm gonna tap around Jess's ear just to give a little bit, get rid of some of that tension. And then I'm pulling everything straight down, big strokes with the razor, just to break up and start my line. Now this isn't the, end of the side of the haircut, it's really just defining where do I want that uh, beginning line to start. And now what you're going to see is I'm going to take partings and elevate the hair. So the bigger strokes of the razor are still going to shatter the bottom of the haircut, but then I want to go in and I want to actually create some layering throughout it as well. So now you're going to see me doing that. Small sections straight out from the head, working around that round of the head. Uh, they're going to go from vertical sections to a slight uh, diagonal forward uh, in there. And sometimes in this part, like I like taking the diagonal forward section because I feel like it really allows me to, to see how the hair is going to fall. Uh, and I think that's really just a personal preference for me. Um, but now I'm going to go through and just etching the bottom, finding little pieces that I want to cut out. Uh, with the Chopstick Pro. Now, if you don't, guys don't have a Chopstick Pro, it's such a cool tool. I just added it to uh, the freesaloneducation.com shop. Uh, Donald Scott was uh, cool enough to allow us to have his products on there. Uh, it's not an expensive tool, but it's definitely something. This and the carving comb, something you should totally have in your toolkit for haircuts like this. Same thing, going through big strokes with the razor, defining that, that base point, that line, and then you can see it's already shattered enough, but I like to go through and just elevate a little bit more um, and keep it consistent. You'll notice the difference. I switch my hand, uh, still working top to bottom, but uh, for combing purposes, my fingers are pointing down. So if my fingers are pointing down, that allows me to comb the hair towards uh, the back of the head, just like I did on the opposite side. And again, going through, finding those little pieces and uh, cutting them through. Now I'm gonna do a little technique uh, with the chopstick, which is basically drawing some texture in there. So just using the chopstick, just the edge or the tip of the chopstick to go in and just chop it up a little bit more uh, works really well. All right, now I let down the top. This is the final uh, part of the haircut. And we're gonna work um, in basically a pie shape section, uh, pie shape sections around the crown of the head. So everything's being brought down, fingers pointing up, 
and again, working the big exaggerated strokes of the razor. So think about uh, the bottom of the haircut. We did real uh, kind of tinier strokes with the razor. In the middle part of the haircut, we did a little bit bigger. And then at the very top, we get even bigger with the strokes and the razor. The elevation gets a little bit higher, it removes a little bit more weight. So you just gotta think about all of those things are involved when you're uh, using a razor or even scissors. Um, it's all the same. So again, we're working in that uh, pie shape sectioning, working the round of the head, so cutting more of a rounded shape, but really using uh, big strokes of the razor to create a lot of texture and movement in the haircut. Key point with this, uh, with any razor really, is to make sure uh, we use the Prepare uh, Liquid Tool Glide, which is another Donald Scott product that we have on the shop. Uh, that was a prepping spray. So a lot of you guys, if you're looking for like a cutting lotion or something like that, it's a great tool for that. You spray it in the hair, gives a lot of slip to the razor. Um, but also when you're using the razor, you want to make sure that you have a nice 45 degree angle uh, with the razor to the hair. So just when you go in there, make sure that you're not straight up and down with the razor and uh, shredding the hair. If you bring it in at a 45 degree angle, the, the hair should really glide right off the head um, when you have a sharp razor. Now I switched my tools um, and every haircut's not made for just one tool. Um, so this is the heavy side of the haircut. So what we're doing is we're going through with our 50% carve and then I flip the razor and I do 100% carve. So I take out some bulk and weight, create some texture in the hair, then I go through and cut my line. So you'll see, let's, we'll over direct it out again. I go in 50% carve, carve it out. Then I go in, create my line with big strokes on the razor. So I'm taking out that bulk, cutting my line all at the same time. Uh, it's a pretty cool technique. I like using this, especially people that have uh, thicker hair works really well. 50% carve, go through, working that 100% carve and cutting the line. Now we're working into the fringe area. I stop at that point because I don't need to cut it because we're gonna go in and cut the fringe now. So we're using uh, from the parting, diagonal forward sectioning. Uh, and this is what, I, you cannot create this type of look as well with the scissor, I don't believe. So I go in with the carving comb. I take big strokes using that sectioning. So I'm over directing it uh, towards my body and I'm taking those uh, larger sections, larger strokes, and just creating a really broken fringe uh, in Jess's haircut. So I, I really think that this makes the haircut, uh, over-directing all of this hair over, so we're creating a side swept fringe, uh, but having that shattered effect. If I think if you went in, created something a little too blunt, uh, it just wouldn't have the same textured effect uh, for the rest of the haircut. So you can see, I like to also sometimes hold the carving comb like a pencil, um, which just allows easier movement uh, within the haircut. This is the carving comb wide that I'm using now. It has wider teeth. Uh, it's great for, for this type of haircut. Uh, just going in, bigger strokes with the razor, over directing that hair uh, towards the same point and creating that textured look. So uh, that technique, you guys can definitely use. It's something that uh, even if you're doing a longer haircut, you could do that technique with just the razor um, to create that fringe look. Now we're gonna blow it dry. You can see it's got a really nice round shape to it, but a lot of movement at the bottom on the ends. So that's what I really love about this haircut. Then once I get it all smoothed out, uh, we'll go through there. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'm using my Vibra Straight Iron. I dig that, the Palm Mitchell 413 brush, my favorite brush. Uh, now I'm gonna go in, I got my scissors out. So uh, I'm excited because I'm using the Mizutani Puffin scissor. Um, this is the titanium version, so it's the black version. It's actually Thad's, I took it out of his thing. Um, so I'm going through and I'm cutting uh, 
using the tease cutting technique just to finish it off. It's already has a lot of texture and movement, but I just want to go through there. I have a lot of control with the scissor, so uh, that way I can just go in there and lighten it up a little bit more. But for the most part, the haircut is pretty much done. So pinching those sections, going through, half closing the scissor uh, to do this, the tease cutting technique. And that is pretty much it. We have a ton of techniques on fsetube.tv uh, to show you these dry cutting techniques. Also on freesaloneducation.com, you can look up hair cutting. We have steps that show you and break down the tease cutting technique. So make sure to check out more of our videos and subscribe for sure, because every time we come out with a new video, which is multiple times a week, you guys can be up to date on that as well. Um, last little bit, I'm doing the uh, tease cutting in the fringe. And you could just see how nice, how soft the lines are or how kind of soft the fringe is because of that uh, carving comb technique and going in with the tease cutting. Last little bit, pinching and slide cutting the hair. Um, another great dry cutting technique. Just to remove a little extra weight and soften the shape. We created a nice round shape, but again, going in with those bigger strokes of the razor, you don't really know what the outcome is gonna be as much until you get it blown dry. So that's why I'm going through with the scissor and just doing a little detail work to finish off the haircut. You can see the GoPro on my head. That's why my hair looks so crazy at the beginning of this video. <laughs> because when you wear that thing for an hour, you have a headache and it messes up your hair a little bit. Last little bit, slide cutting through. I love the Mizutani puff and scissor. It's a dry cutting only scissor. Uh, so it has a nice slide to the hair. So you don't get any tugging on the hair and it just allows you to glide through and cut those uh, techniques. That scissor's also available uh, on our shop on freesaloneducation.com. All right. So I'm gonna go in with uh, Carve. It's a, uh, it's a Bricado product. It adds a lot of texture to the hair. So this product I dig um, for shorter haircuts like this. Even longer haircuts if you wanted to add a little bit of pieciness to it, but it just it gets a little bit tacky in your hand, but it's still soft. Uh, it's not too sticky. Um, sometimes wax products just get real uh, sticky and messy. So uh, add a little bit to that. Christina is going to do some uh, quick makeup and uh, finishing off some iron work there. And then there we go. There's Jess's haircut. You can see the texture at the bottom. Um, it's got a lot. I just love the movement of this haircut. It's a salon friendly haircut like I always like to do. Uh, you can see the before and after. So hope you guys like this video. Uh, Jess loves her haircut like and, uh, and that's it. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe to our, our videos and share them on the internet. I love seeing you guys share the videos. Check out fsetube.tv and upload your videos. We'd love to see that as well. And uh, thanks guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com, here with Jess, she's our friend. We decided to do a makeover today, Christina. She's our friend. She's our friend? Yeah. She's our friend. I know she's our friend. <laughs> this but is our friend Jess, yeah. not like...